Welcome to Kelly's College Picks. I'm Kelly Stewart for PlaySugarHouse.com, your home for legal sports betting. If you want the best live betting in New Jersey, you need to head over to PlaySugarHouse.com. Here are my favorite games for this Saturday. Notre Dame wants to get to the college football playoff, but Syracuse is standing in their way. Orange quarterback Eric Dungy has 14 touchdown passes, 12 touchdown rushes on the season, and Cuse has won four straight, scoring 47 points per game and gaining 512 yards per game in the process. As of now, it looks like Ian Book might be a go for the Irish under center, but the Orangemen who gave Clemson all they wanted are still capable of upsetting this Irish team. Seven and three against the spread in their last 10 games. I like Syracuse plus 10 and a half. We've talked about motivation for the Seminoles team on several occasions this season. And at four and six, they would need a win here and a win next week over Florida to become bowl eligible. He's not even finished with his first season and fans are already calling for Willie Taggart's resignation. AJ Dillon is probable and with hopes for Anthony Brown to be back in action, the only way I can look in this one is the Golden Eagles minus one and a half. I need a good reason not to back Clemson here. The Tigers have covered five straight by huge margins. And since Trevor Lawrence returned to the lineup, this team has almost been unstoppable. But odds makers have forced me to consider Duke catching four touchdowns with the likely NFL bound quarterback and Daniel Jones, who had 547 total yards versus North Carolina last week. Throw in the fact that David Cutcliffe is 24 11 and 1 as an underdog since 2003. Okay, I'll take the 28 and a half for the Blue Devils. Winner here is likely to get a shot in the Big 12 title game in two weeks. 22 9-1 spread run for Cyclones head coach Matt Campbell. This team has been unbeatable since Purdy took control of the offense last month. Let's be honest, Texas is always overvalued. I look to fade them most of the time as favorites. I believe the Cyclones get the W here, so I like Iowa State plus three. Although the Central Florida Knights own the longest winning streak in college football, they don't seem to get their fair share of coverage in the national spotlight. Until now, number 12 UCF will host ESPN College Game Day for the first time in school history Saturday in a clash that will determine the conference East Division title. And while my initial numbers did tell me the Bearcats looked like the right side, I believe the motivation, it's also senior day, factor for the Knights will be similar to what we've seen from them in bowl games. They will not only get the win, but the cover. I like UCF minus seven. The Cougs have their eyes set on the college football playoff, and with one loss in the Pac-12, they have to keep their foot on the gas. They average over 37 points per game. And don't think they forgot about the loss last year at Arizona. Normally, I would think this is a look-ahead spot considering they play Washington next week. But Mike Leach will have his team focused. I like Washington State minus 9.5. If you haven't already, make sure you head over to the App Store and download the Sugar House Sportsbook app so you don't miss out on any of this weekend's action.